Corona virus uh, is raging outside, so we are not going outside. And I'm using the window sills, different windows. This is the bathroom window, and I'm using the Sky Watcher Star Travels AT to observe the planet Venus and the Moon. And beside that, I'm using this wonderful Plusol eyepiece, 25 millimeter Russian Plusol tall eyepiece. I think this is even better than the RKE, like a more scientific one. Look at it, how it shines. As if it's a dome. You can see it yourself. And this is the scenery I'm looking at. That's the moon and the Venus. And I was looking at the Venus. Let me just turn off the flash and see if I can capture it for you. It's amazing this eyepiece. It is <laughs> what I can say is equal to a to a two inch eyepiece probably. I can see the whole field of view of a plate a star cluster M forty five. It's amazing, and you know it's it's probably around four degrees I'm seeing of the sky. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> that shape of the eyepiece. Amazing like this tall 25 millimeter puzzle, a Russian eyepiece. Russians built everything really heavy duty and quality. Okay, I have used this uh, tall Russian puzzle 25 millimeter, compared it with this butter or classic ortho 18 millimeter, and uh, this Soligo. 25 millimeter and uh, other eyepieces here. What this Russian tall puzzle has, there is only one word that can describe it, and that is what Al Nagler called as majestic factor. It darkens the background so the stars come up seen better. Is a tape of the glass they're using. I don't know. They said that there are type, types of glass that makes things a little bit deliberately darker. Vintage look yellower. It's not yellow when you look through it, but that's what Al Langer tries to explain. Majestic fact or majestic factor. And through this, the eyepiece disappears. You just see very, if you look, you'll see the edge of the eyepiece somewhere. That's the field of stuff. With this one, good quality for looking at the stars, 
and all flat and everything round but you know that you're looking through a hole through a pipe this one definitely looking like a pipe and uh, yeah quite quite impressed and quite impressive yeah I've now compared this puzzle Russians Russian puzzle one which is now at the center with the 25 millimeter orthoscopic Vixen eyepiece meet super plus or 26 millimeter and uh, orion 20 millimeter the only thing which comes close to it is this 25 millimeter ortho it's a slightly better it it's a vixen uh, it's quite pricey eyepiece and altos are really good always this 20 millimeter orion uh, i'd like to try it again Okay, now if I want to judge which one gives the best view with this telescope, which is a short tube telescope refractor, uh, I come to the conclusion that this Orion, Orion 20 millimeter eyepiece, 66 field, degree field of view, comes first, then the 25 millimeter orthoscopic Wixen comes second, then comes the Russian tall plus or 25 millimeter, then the mid. Uh, a plus or super plus or 26 millimeter then the uh, bother um, 18 millimeter of course this is a different range I may put it before the so mid eyepiece and then the rest of them this is a good eyepiece it's 7 millimeter but uh, it's not in the range of the eyepieces that I'm studying here and I can say that uh, on the actual eye comfort this comes first this comes second this comes third then comes this and so practically this is the first so I'm really impressed by the quality of all these eye pieces for the eye comfort this is the best then comes this then this then this then this so Orion is not bad in this test Wixen Ortho is good Bother Ortho is also good so all of them, good addition to any eyepiece collection. And after doing another uh, observation set with the, again with the plates, I can say that Soligor is better than the uh, mid super plus or 26 millimeter eyepiece. So this Soligor is good compared to to this one really good better but I'm really impressed by this Orion it gives the colors of the star so loyal I may just put it first mm -hmm. although it has a narrow field of view but the color of the stars the crispness of the stars is so impressive this one is also coming right good and this one they're all in the same range almost but this has a very good comfort for the eye this is definitely one of the best Look at the size of the lens.
This is the time of the lunar cycle that mostly people will miss because it's very early morning and there's half of it falls in daylight. And either people are sleeping yet or they are just uh, going to work. So practically they will miss. And only you can see it in such a day like today, which is a holiday. 